Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today we'll be doing our meal prep and today I will be meal prepping and what I have today are some nice fresh clean uh, lamb shoulders. They are nice and freshly cleaned up. I cleaned them all up. Yes. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys how I prep for my uh, meal videos on the channel. So I will be doing these meal prep videos now instead of little shorts. I'm still going to do my shorts, but uh, I say the people rather see me doing the actual meal prep. So let's go ahead and get into it. Our meat is nice and cleaned. Y'all know y'all going to see this bowl a lot. I love this big bowl. I always use this big bowl uh, to season my meat up. So that is all I use this bowl for. Y'all know I'm old school. This bowl is just for seasoning my meat. So I don't use it for anything else. So, all right. So I've got all my seasons lined up over here. Season your meat however you choose to season it. That's your business. So, all right. I've got one fourth cup of oil here. I'm going to go ahead and get my meat in. Let me show y'all. These are the lamb shoulders. Uh, it's like the uh, lamb chops, but it's a uh, you know a bigger piece of course, and of course it's a different. Duh, it's a lamb shoulder, so um, and it's cheaper. The lamb chops, I know they had like four in a pack, and they were like twenty five dollars, versus two of these in a pack for ten. So I went with these. All right, so I got my meat all in here. Get my meat all in here. Last piece. Okay, so we got our meat all in there. Go ahead and get my one fourth cup of oil. Just drizzle that on them like that. Not too much oil, you know. Make sure you guys come back and see the video how I cook these up, you know, how I'm going to go about cooking these. All right, so we got our oil in there. I'm just going to take my hands and just, you know, massage the oil in there. Don't do too much. Don't overthink it. Rubbing it with oil. Alright, let's see. Make sure everybody got oil. Some oil here. Get them nice and oiled up. Got that oil to the bottom there. Okay, let's see. I got a little oil to the bottom. I'll make sure I get that. Let me see. Yeah, I got a little oil down there. All right. Make sure everybody get nice and oiled. I usually do it quicker than this, but you know, I'm slowing it down for y'all. All right. So, still got some oil down there. Everybody's nicely oiled. So, all right. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Okay, make sure y'all can see. All right, let me go wash my hands real quick, y'all. So, like I said, just season your meat however you want to season it. Me, I'm just throwing a bunch of my favorite seasons in there. That's usually how I do it. My hands dried. Yeah. So. Okay. My hands all dried. Okay. All right. So, uh, as far as measuring, y'all know I just eyeball it. But if you need measurements, because you know what, some people I like that they need measurements. Certain recipes I do like to have measurements myself. So as far as measurements, I'm gonna say for all your seasonings, um, I say do one tablespoon. Do one tablespoon of seasoning. We're just talking about these, particular this, one tablespoon of seasoning. So, I'm just throwing some in there. Don't want to do too much. Um, this is, I'll show you guys what I'm using, uh, the Slap Your Mama. Okay. Alright. I've got some organic smoked paprika. This is the McCormick brand. Smoked paprika. 
Now, of course, like I said, y'all season y'all meat how y'all want to season it. This is my meat that I pay for, that I purchased, so I can season it how I want to season it. Yeah. Season your meat how you want to season it. That's y'all business. That's y'all meat that y'all pay for. I don't nobody tell y'all how to season y'all meat. Season your meat how you want to season it. Now. <laughs> All right, so we got the smoke paprika. Because, you know, people like to tell you what to do with your stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Word of the day. You know what? Don't forget, guys. Go into the description box. Click on that link. That is to my second channel. That is my spiritual channel over there. Talking about God, my spiritual walk with Christ, all that good stuff. If you guys are, you know, want to hear about that. So that's in the description box. But I am going to drop this uh, gem on y'all right now. Uh, people love uh, telling you what to do with your stuff. Ain't that? That's the word of the day. People always want to tell you what to do with your stuff. Do, handle your business. Don't worry about mine. Anyway. All right. Oh, I've got to tell y'all what I'm dropping in. Okay. This is the Trader Joe's Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. I love this. This is so good. So good. Nice green blend, you know. I'll put some of that in there. Get my top to it. All right. And we have some Sam's. Uh, just black pepper, y'all. It's the ground black pepper, of course. All right, and we have some McCormick. I have the organic garlic powder. I would tell y'all how I'm gonna cook these, but I'm not. A little salt. Just a little salt, that's all this is. Just a little salt. All right, and I have the Morton season. It's just the all, you know, the Morton's all season. Throw some of that in there. Okay, and the last thing I have. Now, this is my secret. I don't really see much people doing this with lamb shoulders, but this is my little secret right here. This is the McCormick Grill Mates. It's the Montreal Steak Seasoning. Ha ha. That's my little secret there. I don't, I don't mind sharing my secrets. Well, you know, certain ones, you know. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. We're going to throw a little bit of it in there. Because you know what? It's going to give it like a little, just a little, you know, that little steak flavor. Y'all know. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. All right. That's my little secret I throw in there, y'all. <laughs> Use it. That's my little secret. Okay. So, anyway. So, all I'm going to do is mix this up. And then I have my bowl here that I'm going to put them in. And I put the top, you know, my top on it. And I like to let my meat marinate for at least two days. Depends on sometimes I get too busy, you know, and I don't have two days. I have, may have it in there for one day. But at least one full day. I don't like seasoning my meat and then cooking it. No, I, I need you to sit for a while. I need you to soak it up. Okay, y'all know. All right, so these are going to be uh, in the refrigerator. I'm going to have them marinating for two days. Two days. Of course, y'all know I got a lot of seasoning in here. So I'm just going to be... I just basically what I do is I just kind of rub them on each other, you know. Just kind of move them around, rub them on each other. That kind of stuff, you know. I could have flipped it over and seasoned this side, but... I don't usually do that. I just like doing it this way. It's kind of rubbing it. Making sure everybody getting some of that seasoning. Make sure all sides are seasoned real good. You know, and like when you do it this way, it kind of, you know, it helps get, get the, uh, the seasons massaged in there, you know. That's why I do it this way too. Make sure you get your sides, your edges and stuff. Come yeah, that way the meats are massaging it in for you. That's how I like to do it. Make sure everybody got some season. Everybody seasoned up. And lamb, one thing about lamb shoulders, they're just like the lamb chops. They're, you know, they're very, very uh, soft and tender and juicy when you cook them. So, like I said, y'all got to come back to see how I'm going to cook these. You got to come back and see. At least see how they turned out. So, yeah. Now, everybody's all seasoned up. Let me move that out of the way. And I'm just going to layer them in my bowl. Okay. Let me see. All 
right? Nice and layered down in there. I like packing it down in there so that way they're on top of each other. Okay? Got that little piece that broke off, but we're going to tuck you right down in there, buddy. Make sure y'all can see. Yeah. See, I like packing it in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice and packed. Got those big pieces we're going to put across the top. Let me make sure I get the rest of my seasons out of my bowl. Don't leave nothing behind because you paid for your stuff. So don't leave nothing behind. Okay. All right. The season's there. Okay. We're going to flip that over like that. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let me wash my hands and I'm going to give y'all a nice little close up. Um, lamb shoulders, you know, you hear a lot about the lamb chops. Don't really hear much about the lamb shoulders, you know, but they are out there. <laughs> lambs do have shoulders. <laughs> yeah, you hear about the lamb chops. You don't really hear much about the lamb shoulders, you know, but yeah, let me clean that up. Y'all know I'm a little OCD, so I got to clean that up. All right, and look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I know that look good. And I like to throw on top, just to give me, you know, make it all pretty. Throw a little bit of that greenery on top. That greenery season, I'm telling y'all, from Trader Joe's, it's amazing. It is amazing. It tastes amazing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, y'all. That's it for the meal prep video. That's it. That's all. Y'all definitely got to come back uh, to see how I cook these lamb shoulders up. All right, guys, that's it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, I had to come back and show you guys. I totally forgot to show you. I uh, totally forgot to show you guys. I forgot to put the onions in there. So basically all I did, as you guys can see, I just took the meat uh, out and layered the meat and then layered onions in there. See how I put the onions in there and then I put a layer of meat on top of it. So forgot to show y'all that duh it's one of the important parts so yep got onions all in there with the meat so that's gonna be marinating for two days y'all know that's gonna be good because the onions gonna be soaking in there mm, 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 mm. that's gonna be so good i got onions all over the bottom all over guys forgot to show y'all that but yeah put your onions in there so that way you know the onion is soaking in in the meat so all right guys this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. Don't forget to go in the description box. Click on that link to my second channel.